Pascal Gosselin. This is one of those products that I think flight schools in particular, but a lot of private pilots as well are going to want to take advantage of. Tell us a little bit about Wi Flight. Well, Wi Flight is a fully automated uh, flight data recorder, cockpit voice recorder. So essentially, it's based on a smartphone platform that we customized uh, to uh, transform it into a very powerful uh, FDR, CVR. It will automatically record up to 100 hours of voice and uh, GPS and accelerometer data, but the really unique thing about it is that it's fully automated. It will transmit the data automatically after every single flight using Wi-Fi to our internet-based servers, and it'll create a flight playback that uses Google Earth as well as Google Maps, and it'll also analyze the flight looking for uh, pilot behavior patterns. What caused you to try to fill this niche? Well, actually, it started last year dealing with a flight school that, that had a double fatal uh, that involved low-level buzzing, a pilot that flew low-level above a river and hit a wire. This resulted in the flight school asking us to come up with some kind of solution to, you know, to track what the airplanes were doing. So uh, we looked out there at the market last year. We didn't find anything that really was fully automated, so we designed a, a system for it. How does it work? How does it get the audio, say, from the cockpit into the device and then down to your server? Well, it's quite simple. This device has a microphone, so it records the ambient uh, uh, noise with the microphone. It also has an audio input that we just simply hook up to the pilot's phone jack so we can record everything that the pilot hears. And then the flight data? Well, the uh, device has a built-in uh, WASP GPS with four positions per second as well as the accelerometers. So we use the uh, four position per second WASP GPS to infer uh, the pitch and roll. Uh, and we also use the accelerometer to determine uh, the, the hard landing aspect. So if the airplane has a hard landing, uh, it will max out the accelerometer and we, we can report that. What else can you track? Well, we also have digital terrain elevation models, so we're looking at the height of the airplane at all times above the ground, as well as a full uh, airport and runway database, so we're determining which runway you took off from, which runway you landed at, if you did any low-level buzzing, so any uh, flight below 500 AGL away from an airport, and uh, that's all determined automatically, including airspace violations. Obviously, something that flight schools are going to want to take advantage of, but what else is your customer base? Well, for personal use, what we're planning on doing is we're going to make a, a free version of this flight data recorder available as an iPhone app. And uh, people will be able to download that iPhone app for free and we'll offer a free recording and playback service for personal use. You've not been on the market a very long time. What was your development process like and where do you look to, to go in the future? Well, we uh, developed this with a flight school. We're from Canada, and uh, we have about 15 aircraft that are equipped with the system. We've recorded over 3,000 flights uh, so far, and that's uh, enabled us to, I think, you know, fully debug uh, the uh, the system. And we've been getting some feedback in here at Oshkosh in terms of uh, other features that people would like to see in the product. You talked about a free application for private pilots. What is the subscription on the service? Well, we're going to do a completely free uh, service for the uh, private pilots. However, for the flight schools, it is a subscription-based service. It's $4.99 for the flight data recorder, and it's $60 per month per aircraft for unlimited flight playback and analysis. Aero TV is brought to you by the beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.